So this is the first time I replace my brake pad or spend any money on this 2008 Q7 bought new in 2008. Haven't spent any money on it at all. It's an amazing car. Okay, so it's not a very beautiful day. It's gray. Tomorrow it's gonna rain. Brake pad light is on since 61,850 and now I ran it all the way to 62,210 on this Q7 2008 and this is gonna be the first set I'll be replacing on this car it's amazing okay so the pad on the front still has some I'm sure it go into the, uh, the sensor already. Now let's uh, check and make sure we get the right pad for this one. Okay, so we bought this one from Amazon. This one is Power Stop Z17977. Evolution Plus Ceramic Okay, so to replace the disc we need a T45 to remove this Okay, so I got this one from AutoZone and it looks like it's gonna fit Okay, so to remove the sensor we press this down and push this with a screwdriver and it will come out. Okay, so this is the one. We go from here. So what we need to do is to pull this down and press this lever down and it will come out. Gee. Okay, so to remove this rod right here, you need a 13 millimeter. So I use this uh, quarter extension, put it in here, and just knock it so that rod will come out. So I made a mistake using this. It go inside here when I knocked it. I ruined some of the threads so the best one to use so it looks like I need a new um, bolt and a rod so the best one to use is to use the 516 socket will fit perfectly to knock it out and it won't hurt anything okay so it's good to spray some uh, blaster like this one to make it come out easier okay so we're gonna use a big screwdriver and compress the piston all the way back actually it's really easy This one has three pistons. And do on both sides. And this one over here too. There are three of them over here. Okay, with a dual piston, if you press one side in, the other side came out. So you make sure that you press both of them. So now both sides are flat. We can take off the uh, the caliper now. Okay, so to remove, we need a 21 millimeter. And in order for us not to remove this metal pipe, we need two people to do this job. Okay, for this top bolt, the top bolt here. We need to turn the wheel a little so it will clear. All right. 
if you get if it's straight then you get stuck here that's the tip so to replace the rotor here and this one is metal so we need two people to do when I lift this up a little bit my son will remove the old one and slide this one back in and when we slide it back in then we get this done right away two people job so after we ruined this we bought a new boat from AutoZone for eight bucks now we're going to put it back into a brand new brick so put everything back on the new stuff is much easier than taking it out. I'm gonna have to go and buy a new uh, boat. Okay, so it's all done now. Nice, brand new, and it looks really good. Okay, so this is the rear, and it's smaller, and we know we're going to do the same way by unscrew this, and then push it all the way out. Okay, so we need to remove this pin clip here, so we can slide this one out.
So for the rear, you need a triple square. That's what they call it. M16, the size, to remove the uh, caliper. So all the brake pad sensors are the same part number. The rear, so I always use power stop for both of uh, my Audis, A8 and this one, and I like them. So if you look at the pad, the rear pad at 62,000 miles, it's still pretty good compared to the original one. So even if the warning light is on, I believe you can still drive at least a thousand miles, depends on how you drive the car.